some of the cyber crimes committed against government can be listed as follows they are cyber terrorization cyber conflict distribution of printed software tenure of illegal data cyber scams code word sniffing sniffer denial of service attacks salami attack virus attack freaking cyber terrorism war dialer and finally cyber warfare cyber terrorization this concerns both domestic and global attacks geo paradising the power and truthfulness of the country here the hijacker attacks on the web are caused by ddos hate websites and emails and attacks on sensitive system networks etc cyber conflict this refers to politically enthused hacking for conducting sabotage and surveillance third is the distribution of printed software this means that the distributed printed software package from one system to another system are intended for destroying the information and authorized files of the organization next is the tenure of illegal data data may be accessed by terrorists through the web and they possess the data for political spiritual communal and rational goals next we are going to see about cyber scams a cyber scam of course we have previously discussed about it a cyber scam refers to the fraudulent business engagement or scheme that takes money or other goods either from an individual or from unsuspecting person or organization here cyber scams are hard to identify and hard to stop because it is due to the technological growth rate next comes the code word sniffing code word sniffers are programs that scrutinize and list the name and the code word of web users as they log in the website sniffer this listens to all incoming and outgoing network traffic and records the instances of packets that contain the passwords next is the denial of service attacks we have uh, discussed about it they are of course very very famous and frequent types of attacks high profile the internet servers like bank servers credit card payment gateways cellular networks and even root name servers they are flooded with traffic so these attacks consume naturally resources preventing the genuine users accessing these data so the key resources here are the computer hardware memory and the bandwidth salami attacks this also we have seen previously they are the used to conduct economic offenses the main characteristic of salami attack is cheating variations that can go completely unnoticed next comes a virus attack then the freaking attack freaking refers to hacking into secure telecommunication networks to explore and exploit the phone networks by mimicking the dialing tones triggering the automatic switches using whistles or custom blue boxes designed for that purposes naturally they are related to telecommunication threats the next one is cyber terrorism it is basically an illegal act which is politically motivated with the use of computers and information technology to cause severe disruption or widespread fear in the society next is war dialer war dialer is a computer program that's used to identify the phone numbers that can successfully make a connection with a computer modem the computer program automatically dials a defined range of phone numbers and logs and enters in the database of those numbers that successfully connect to the modem 
some war dialer programs can also conduct automated penetration testing next comes the cyber warfare of course this is the last in this category that is the cyber crimes against the government cyber warfare is also known as the cyber war and this refers to any virtual conflict initiated as a politically motivated attack on an enemy's computer and information systems with internet these attacks disable the financial and the organizational setup by stealing or altering classified data to undermine network websites and their subsequent services an unauthorized act made with the plan of inflicting damage to the internet of course it has an effect on huge number of people organization and ultimately the society following are some of the cases first industrial spying second cyber pornography third drug trafficking fourth online gambling fifth financial crimes sixth web jacking seven theft or misuse of service eight copyright violations and finally the ninth one is forgery or counterfeit documents what is industrial spying industrial spying refers to illegal practice of investigating the competitors to gain business advantage the target of that illegal investigation might be a trade secret such as certain product specification or formula or even information about their business strategies and plans cyber pornography it's a very very serious one and in, in accordance with the indian constitution pornography comes under the type of obscenity and it is liable for punishment according to law today it is really very sad to say that child pornography is spreading across and it's a very very serious offense contents processed using digital media by altering an image or video so that it appears to be a minor can be considered child pornography it involves the utilization of network to generate to dispense or to access the materials that sexually take advantage of immature children next comes the drug trafficking sale of illegal drugs to underage people is heavily punishable and huge penalties are levied for such trafficking as it affects the future of the country next comes the online gambling nowadays online frauds and scams are very common and one of the foremost remunerative business in cyberspace there are several websites hosted on servers of course in some in foreign countries that suggest online gambling in fact it is believed that lot of those websites are essentially um, friends for money laundering in other words they try to uh, deceive through the credit card information credit card crimes contractual crimes sometimes even job offering etc next comes the financial crimes the websites and cellular networking are used wherever offender attempts to attack by transferring by transferring spurious emails or messages through the web for example mistreatment of credit cards by obtaining the code word criminal next comes the web jacking web jacking refers to an offense where the hacker gains access and control to another website so the attackers even may change the information on the website next comes the theft or misuse of service theft of services they are referred as criminal act that occurs 
when a person obtains services from another person through unlawful means. Generally, theft of service refers to using or misusing services by a person without intending to pay for the service. Next comes the copyright violations. We have already discussed about that in the forgery or counterfeit documents. The counterfeit of document refers to forgery that refers to the process of making or adapting documents with the intention to deceive. It's a form of fraud involving a key technique in the execution of identity theft. Thank you.